I think in that movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the Brad Pitt character is supposed to represent in some way, shape, or form a guy like Gene LaBelle. A guy who was like a real bad motherfucker who is working with Bruce Lee on a movie set. But in reality, they collaborated. In reality, like Gene LaBelle taught him some judo. But he did pick him up at one point in time and like carry him around, <laughs> just to let him know, like, hey, buddy, in the real world, <laughs> I'm fucking right. Gene LaBelle and you weigh 135 pounds. <laughs> yeah. But um, he taught him stuff. That's why I believe it's Game of Death, the one when they're fighting. I think it's Game of Death. He catches this guy that he's fighting with in an armbar. It was like one of the first times, and it was when he was wearing those Jeet Kune Do gloves, which look a lot like modern MMA gloves. They were like a little bit more puffy. But that was like the first version of an MMA glove. And he wins this fight with grappling, which I guarantee had June LaBelle had an influence on that. Because Bruce Lee was so fucking mm. smart, man. I said it was Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon, that's right, sorry. Yeah. See those gloves? Look at those gloves. So he's fighting this guy, cracks him, ducks under the kick, takes him down, throws him to the ground. I mean, you gotta understand that back then, you might look at this today and see this kind of silly. Back then, this was the shit. Because Bruce Lee was, look at that kick. He was a legit martial artist, like really good. And also a giant movie star. And also a guy who is open-minded enough to incorporate all the arts into what he called Jeet Kune Do. So he was like the first guy that figured out, look, he's throwing fucking takedowns and Aikido and Judo and everything. He threw it all in together. He's throwing this guy to the ground. He gets him in a fucking crucifix from the back and gets him in an arm bar and makes the dude tap. He's tapping. First time we ever see a tap. That's true. It's here in Enter the Dragon. And then they bow afterwards. This is literally like an example for everybody to see of the first mixed martial arts fight. And it was Bruce Lee. Because Bruce Lee, that back then, even when I was training in Taekwondo, when I would go to Muay Thai gyms, my instructor did not like it. They did not like it. When I would go to boxing gyms, they're like, you can learn that here. Everybody wanted you to just learn Taekwondo. They opened their, uh, their mind up to it a little bit at certain points in time. Like certain students that we had that also boxed, I could go train with them in other places. But when I started kickboxing, it was a giant wake-up call because I realized, like, wow, there's stuff that's better than Taekwondo for, like, an overall. F Taekwondo is the best for, like, wild kicks, like f side kicks and front kicks and wheel kicks and turning back kicks and shit like that. But boxing is way better for your hands. Like, those guys are way better at it. And then you get kicked in the legs and you're like, oh, boy, I need to learn that. How do you kick? You? Well, there's an art to that. And then you learn takedowns. And you're like, oh, Jesus, I'm helpless when I'm on my back. Oh, Jesus. You learn jujitsu. You're like, oh, I thought I was a badass. I'm just a victim. <laughs> Someone could just maul you. But Bruce Lee, he opened that door for everybody. Because back then, before, especially before the UFC, martial arts were very, like, everybody stayed in their tribe. The judo guys thought judo was the best. The kickboxer guys thought kickboxing was the best. Like, everybody had their own mindset on what style was the best. Bruce Lee started it all off, bro. Yeah. And Judo Gene LaBelle was the guy that taught him grappling. Look at that. He's got a head and arm choke. Sort of. I like the faces he always kind of. Yeah, this is <laughs> kind of a head and arm choke. Yeah. Is that when, with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Look at this. He's got... This dude has uh, got him in an arm bar. And what movie was that? Huh. Bruce Lee. Interesting. He's got his thumb the wrong way. What is it? Bruce Lee orders this. cocaine? Ah! Robert Baker. Oh, he sidekicks him in the face, then he pulls his hair and fucking karate chops him in the neck for the death. <laughs> Whoosh. Crazy. Back then, man, everybody wanted to learn karate. When they saw that Bruce Lee movie, everybody wanted to learn kung fu. Dude started walking around with kung fu outfits on. Guys would go to school with kung fu outfits on back then. <laughs> <laughs> he also probably helped out the Asian uh, community a Steve lot. Steve Aoki told me that. Yeah? Yeah, Steve Aoki said when he was a kid, like, fine. He was like, finally, there's an Asian hero. Right. Who was like, the baddest motherfucker on earth was an Asian. It was nice. And still considered one of the baddest motherfuckers. Still to this day. <laughs> Steve Aoki. 